Welcome, folks, to the eighth oldest stadium in the country, Bought Hemingway, home of the old Miss Rebels, where folks have been shouting hotty toddy since the very early hours today. This is not your normal matchup. A battle of top five teams, two forces colliding here. Cannot wait for this one. Big playoff implications. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the 10th ranked team, the Ole Miss Rebels. For EA Sports the Rebels will kick this deep to get us going. Bringing it out, it's Smith. And he stopped with the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. The Bulldogs offense trots out there to open this game. And Kirk, here comes the star tight end. There's so much emphasis in college football on using this position creatively. And, man, this guy's as good as any of them. Yeah, you nailed it, Chris. We've seen tight ends have a big impact in college football in the past, but what this guy is doing right now is unbelievable. Speed of a wide receiver, size and power of an offensive lineman. We're looking at a freak out there today. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. The pocket breaking down. And he's sacked. He'll be brought down right at the five-yard line. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time. Allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure. And they come up with the first sack of the game. The dogs will have to kick it away. It's a rough drive for the offense. Punter comes on and boot it away. And he's able to get the boot away. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. The Rebels offense gets their first crack now. The wide receiver, Kirk, this dangerous, who lines up all over the place. Can the linebackers step up and help out the secondary enough today? Yeah, usually you see these matchups. The slot receiver has a big advantage. But I'll tell you, this linebacker is an excellent athlete. But the wide receiver he's covering today will pose a textbook challenge to see if he can truly cover. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. Incomplete, almost a first down interception here on the opening drive. Offense getting set, it's second down. To throw, it's dark. Defense is coming after him. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. Defense are going to keep the pressure up on this third down. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Pressure coming, and they've got him again. They just felt that one coming. Third down and long. Those defensive linemen are in that sprinter stance. They know the offense is going to have to throw. Great job of using that athletic ability and speed to get after the quarterback to come up with that sack. And the Rebels will have to Number punt this one away. On to, on to the return, it's Lovett. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. That's caught. It's Lovett. And the ball to the ground. The defense recovers the fumble. Boy, the defense showing their team speed on that play, flying around that receiver. He made the catch, but he didn't do a good job of securing the football, and the ball comes out. Offense back out there trying to get something going. First down, looking to throw the football. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. 
They bring him down at the seven. The offense set up now with a first and goal. Dropping back, it's Dart. Makes a quick catch. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. And the Rebels looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Grab behind the line, it's Watkins. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. And the offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. Looking to throw yet again. Pressure is coming. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Nothing tells you more about a defense's personality than when they get tested like this. Facing a first and goal all the way to third and goal. You come up with a sack. Relentless attitude. Now let's see what they decide to do on fourth and goal. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. It'll be a 33-yard attempt here. And he knocks that one right through. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. After the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they coughed it up, but it only cost them a field goal. Pulls it in. It's Lovett. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. High completion makes it second and medium. And they'll use the ground game here. Looks like Georgia will have the first down. See what the call is on first and ten. Sticking with the running game. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. Second down after that previous play. Little eye candy here from the offense. Some pre-snap motion. The shotgun handoff here. Catch made, but the defense gobbles him up for just a short gain. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Grab near the sticks. It's Bell. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. The Bulldogs moving quickly down the field here. Handoff from the shotgun. Breaks loose at the 40. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really... And he'll be brought down, sacked on the final play of this first quarter. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Now for the second period. We come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Dropping back. It's back. The pass rush closing in. And the pass rush has got him again. Back to back sacks. I mean, that's another sack, Chris. I mean, we're just getting started here. First half, and you're already talking about giving up three sacks. you got to think about changing things up schematically, help that offensive line, and help that poor quarterback before he gets killed. So they'll send out the field goal unit to give it a shot here from very long distance. 
The kicker has good range, but this one is from 58 yards out. The attempt is no good. A missed chance to tie this game, still down by three. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. And the powerful Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. Had to reluctantly settle for a field goal last time out. Really want to find the end zone here. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. The Rebels come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. And now the running back's got it again. Breaks loose at the 40. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. This offense has gotten going at long last. It's another first and ten. Well, the big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain in a first down. He hands it off from the gun. And the Rebels pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. First down and 10. Here comes a throw from the red zone. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. To the air. It's dark. From the pocket delivers over the middle. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Handing off on the draw play. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. No problem. Knocks it right through. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Return starts from inside the five. He's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Let's it go quickly. And it's going to be incomplete. Defense had a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. So second down after the incompletion. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Throws to the tight end. There's a wide open receiver complete. That is a huge play. Finally brought down at the 46-yard line. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. New set of downs for the offense. First and ten. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And that's a solid gain for the defense able to bring him down. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, handoff inside. And the senior able to make the stop after a short gain. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Run quickly, caught in the right flat. And moves the ball to the 35 and another first down. The dogs pick up enough yardage to get a fresh set of downs. Play action here on first down. Looking for the wide out. And it's complete downfield. 
Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. And the sophomores got him for a sack. I can't believe the amount of pressure this defense is getting on this quarterback. Sack after sack. Well, you've got to think about changing things up. The snap count, the scheme, anything at all to help this offensive line. They're overmatched so far in this game. Rush has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And missed a field goal on their last drop. Got to do something here on third down to get back in range. Looking to throw. It's back. Running back grabs it on a screen. And the tackle is made. The defense was ready for that screen. They stop him short of the first down. So on fourth down now, Number out comes the field goal unit. And it's no good. He missed it. The deficit remains at six after that miss. Boy, this guy's usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And the Rebels' offense back out on the field. The last possession, they had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Can they find the end zone this time out? And that's incomplete. Even on a first down pass attempt, he felt heavy pressure. Offense facing a second and ten. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Throws it to the right. It's caught downfield. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wide out. And he's got his man open downfield. Big gain across midfield. Tackle finally made to the 32. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. Back to throw. It's dark. The ball is caught. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Looking to throw again. Bringing pressure. Catch is made behind the line of scrimmage. Hey, they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Looking for six. And it's incomplete in the very back of the end zone. An important third down attempt for this offense. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. He's running out of time here. Decides not to throw it and will take an enormous loss on this set. 15 yard loss on the play. Fourth down coming up. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. So just before halftime here, out comes the field goal unit. Trying to knock it through from 44 yards away. Right down the middle. And those three points will finish off the first half and take us to halftime. the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. You've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far in Oxford.
efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. Already a two-possession lead here. Let's see if they continue to call it aggressively and try to put this defense in a bigger hole. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. And the Rebels will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big guardage to set up a fresh set of downs. Offense operating at high tempo now, no huddle. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play, brings up second down. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage. Cannot escape, and down he goes. Well, that's another big sack for this defense. They've come up with so many sacks. It's a great way to get back into this football game. Now, give the quarterback credit. He's played tough through that so far, but one mistake could potentially be a game-changing play. The Rebels will bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. With the return, it's Lovett. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Which offense can get it going first? This one has been a struggle so far. They're going to run it here. They've got him, but not before making first down yards. They'll move the ball to the 41. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's play action. Looking for his big tight end. Makes the catch downfield. An explosive play moves the ball across midfield. They'll spot it at the 38. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. Now we're going to draw play. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Urgency now for the offense. They hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. To throw, it's back. There's a screen pass to the running back. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. Still searching for their first touchdown of the game, but on the move now. It's first and ten. He's got it right near the end zone. And he can't quite get in. They get him down at the one-yard line. Here's a first and goal. Finally a chance to score the first touchdown of this game. Running out of time in the pocket. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. After the big loss on first down, it's second and goal backed up. This one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Running back has it on a screen now. Play never had a chance. Defense grabs him for a loss. Coach is going to take the three points. Here comes the field goal unit. is up and no good. The deficit still at nine after the miss, a two-possession game. 
Man, I thought he hit that pretty clean. Good hold by the holder. Everything looked to be the way you like as a kicker. He just misses it, and the ball trailed on him and ends up hitting the upright. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. And the Rebels come to the line in their hurry up. Back's got it again. Solid run. They'll bring it bad at the 28-yard line. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. He'll go down, but that stiff arm earned him first down yardage. And the Rebels come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Offense cranking up the tempo now, no huddle. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield at the 48. The Rebels will try to keep this drive moving. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Ball handed to the running back. The junior able to bring him down quickly. If success the formation, it's third down. He'll hand it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Number 12 in punt formation to kick it away. That punt heading out of bounds, so there'll be no return here. And as we take a break, take a quick look at how the national rankings stack up. This sets up as a classic finish. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. There's the handoff. Finds room at the 30. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down to the 42. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Stops short of the marker after just a short gain. Second down play coming up. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. That's reeled in. It's Humphreys. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. A new set of downs after that completion. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Off the play fake on first down. The pocket breaking down. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Georgia has moved into the red zone. That's a first down for the offense. He eludes the rush. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid gain there. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Georgia. That's a crucial score, Kirk. Makes it a one-possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. Momentum is starting to tilt. 
and it's your job to go into your four-minute offense. But I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. And now the try here for the extra point. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Ole Miss offense is back out on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. Escapes the sack. Dump off caught by the running back. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. Boy, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he could do is throw it to his back and a loss of yards. Now you're behind the sticks. And the Rebels come to the line to run the hurry up. On third down, he drops to throw. Defense is coming after him. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I do not want to see the game film. This has been a tough game for the big boys. It appears almost like they've just been moonwalking the entire game, and they've been pushed all around. That's six sacks surrendered already in this game. And the Rebels will line up to punt it away. On to punt it away. And it's fair caught near the 40-yard line. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. They'll hand it off. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. And that run, good for first down yardage. The drive moves on. Back to pass. It's back. Throw to the running back in the flat. Even surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Second down after that short completion. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Trying to create here on the move. It is complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. There's the snap. And he's looking to throw. Hits the running back in the flat. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Back to throw again. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they're finally able to stop them. But great execution on the screen pass. Fooled the defense there. And we've reached now the two-minute warning. Sets up as a dramatic finish as this offense tries to grab the lead late here. Got a lane. Can he get in? Touchdown, dogs. They jump in front here in the fourth. Georgia. Oh, what an unbelievable job by this offense, Chris. They put themselves in a position to put a touchdown on the board. They take the lead. And now we'll see if their own defense can hold on to that lead in these last couple minutes of the game. So still an important piece of business to take care of here, the extra point. He knocked through the PAT, so the lead is five here in the fourth quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Georgia, 14, Ole Miss, nine. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. We'll start with the 25. And the Rebels offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick Three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Quick throw to the left side. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Second down play coming up for this offense. Dropping back. It's dark. Tries the right with a quick throw. Oh, and he dropped it. You do not see that very often from this guy. It's going to bring up third down. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Quarterback takes off now, looking to scramble. They chase him down and tried to run for it, but it'll bring up fourth down. So five-point game, they need a touchdown. They'll keep the offense on the field. 
Drops back, looking for a fourth down conversion. Pressure is coming. And he's brought down a sack for the defense coming up big on this fourth down play. That's really good coverage downfield, and it just looked like the quarterback was waiting and waiting and waiting a little bit too long. By the time he decides to try to make a throw, nothing's open, and result is a sack and a turnover on downs. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They have the lead, still a one-possession game thanks to the defense. They'd love to work the clock, but they can't throttle back here. They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. They'll run it from the gun. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback will just take a knee. Well, this was a kind of a grinding affair. You give the game ball to the defense here. They did their job at the end in a low-scoring one. There's no doubt about that, Chris. Their own offense didn't have to do a whole lot today because the way their own defense played led them to a victory. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.